Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys five tips. Now, these tips can be used for beginners, people getting back into the game, and even pros like myself. So, let's just get right into the video. And let's go to number one, organizing your vault. Organizing your vault, guys, is extremely important. It's um, not something I did before on this vault, and I wish I did. As you can tell, we got like stuff going all around here. But um, I hope you can see that I'm making a clear effort to try to organize things. Such as, I started at the bottom. I wanted my beds, my barracks down here, and then a radio room, because you can only have five uh, barracks if they're all maxed out. And then um, I have my theme workshop down here. And I plan on probably just adding storage down here. And then um, over here I have my barbershop. Then I'd like to have eventually have all storage along these two spaces on the right side. Um, also, when you're organizing your vault, make sure you have your elevators. Make sure you have them all doing the same thing. It's just more efficient for everything to um, work out. And uh, speaking of, this is kind of perfect timing, but the next step, the next um, tip I have for you guys is to never let an emergency spread. It's always a bad thing to do that, because if you let it spread, if you don't crush these insects right now, they're going to pop up in two more rooms. And it's just going to spread exponentially until pretty much everywhere is surrounded unless you can deal with it quickly. That's, uh, I've seen it cost me a lot of dwellers before. I've just had to pay a lot of money to get them back. I don't recommend, um, doing that because it's hard to man- it, it, Doing this right here, that was easy to manage, right? Because it was an easy enemy, an easy threat to deal with. Um, and I had it all under control in one room. I could just stim pack them, rad away, rad away them, whatever I needed to. But when it spreads out, it's hard to manage all your dwellers at once. So I just I recommend never letting an emergency spread. Um, let's get back to tip number one, though. When you're organizing your vault, guys, make sure you just keep it keep it as a theme, okay? Make sure you save room for if you have 200 dwellers. Right now, I'm not even building um, an emergency room in this empty place right here because I don't know if I'm going to need an energy room when I get to... When I get more buildings, I might need one and I might not. So I'm just saving it until I get to 200 dwellers. Don't, you don't need to fill up your place um, from just going down the list. You can just uh, separate it. Try to get down to the very bottom and then just separate what you want to build. Save room for 200 when you're at 200 because things can change and you don't want to spend all that money destroying and then rebuilding. Now, tip number three, guys, is. Equip your dwellers with the best loot from top to bottom. What I mean by this is my front guards, they have the best loot. This person has Endurance 5, Sturdy Wastelander gear. It's pretty great. The weapon, I have the Dragon's Maw, 22 to 29 damage. And then the Enhanced Fat Man, 22 to 24. Now, other than this, I would like to say I do have my people that explore have the best weapons as well. Such as a Gauss Rifle and a Plasma Caster on my other guy. Because um, your guys exploring, you're, they're going to need weapons. You don't always get raided in your vault, but when you do, you want to make sure you have firepower. So that's why I say that. Um, just for an example, those people have really great stuff, right? Let's check. Um, well, these guys are moving constantly, so let's not check them. But let's check these guys right here. Laser pistol, 7 damage. 6 to 9 damage. 7. And 7. The reason I say from top to bottom to upgrade your stuff is because if Deathclaws or Raiders or Ghouls invade, you'll be able to crush them before they even get down. So, looking at this person, they have 17 damage for that Alien Disintegrator right there. 17 right there. These people have Gatling Lasers. 21 to 22 damage. And so on. So, I just recommend having the most powerful weapons at top. That way, you'll just be able to crush anything that tries to attack you. Um, tip number four will be to upgrade your dwellers. I want to be a I want to have the most perfect dweller. So I built two of each room and uh when I say organize your vault this is what I mean. You want to have the same rooms right next to each other, not scattered like this is. This is a bad example, but I was poor and tried to just upgrade it as fast as possible. I know it looks bad. I plan on fixing this when I become rich in this game. So but this is what it'll look like for now. If I were you, I'd recommend just building the same exact type of room on top of each other. That way you can just move them and organize it much better. It's it's just easier on you. But it still works out for me. It's just easier. 
Um, when I say upgrade the dwellers, though, you want to make sure they have max stats. So these people, I could be using them for product for producing stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use them to upgrade first because I need the best people I can have before I can even um, fill up my vault. So what I mean is, we'll look up here and we'll probably find someone. Yeah, just one stat. They all specialize in one stat. That's horrible. But we want perfect dwellers that way, especially for luck. When you have rooms with luck, you can collect caps when you collect resources. So. I didn't collect any there. I didn't collect any there. I didn't collect any there. There. Okay, well sometimes when you collect, if you have a you have dwellers in there with high luck, it'll give you caps as well. And that's always a good thing. That's how you can um, farm caps. But yes, yeah, so you want to make sure they have great stats, especially for these up these people up here, is because you want high endurance, high perception, all that to be able to fight off enemies. Um for my last tip guys tip number five is going to be don't rush to 200 as you can see i'm at 172 out of 200 and the main reason i say this is because you don't want a bunch of lousy dwellers in here you want just perfect dwellers you want the best of the best that way you can be more as most as much efficiency as possible and another reason is because you want to make sure you have your barracks organized before because if you have 200 dwellers you can't break the barracks anymore you're at max barracks, you're not going to be able to break them or move them. So you want to make sure you get them to where you want before you go to 170. I found out it was perfect to get at 160 dwellers, precisely. That way I could have moved the barracks and all that, and I didn't have to evict people. I did have to evict people to get there, but at 160 was the spot. Um, that way you can just move these, and I moved them down here out of the way because they were scattered all around and not with each other, which is just a horrible idea. So make sure you put your barracks together along with... That's step one, just organizing. But you can't really organize if you're at 200 because now you have too many dwellers to organize. So I recommend organizing before getting to 200. So don't rush. As well as rushing 200 will make attacks much harder. Um, and it'll just be managing it will be harder. It's going to be nicer to have 200 dwellers, believe me. But you don't want to rush to get there. Rushing is never a good thing. You want to just plan your vault. Make sure you have the right resources, right equipment. Um... That way you don't have um, too much problems and too many mistakes going on and you can just save as much caps and resources as possible. Especially with food and water, you're going to need to upgrade your food and water before you can even sustain that many dwellers. So I recommend not doing it until you're prepared and have the right um, equipment and resources. As well as rushing, don't, um, don't skip time on your phone or anything guys, don't do that. Um, I guess you could say it's cheating. To me, it wasn't cheating. It was just a way to make this game funner. But it'll cause bugs such as your characters not finding stuff. And then also you'll have death claws a lot faster than you normally would have. So don't do not do it. It's, it's too risky. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the tips I have, guys. If you like this video, I can make more. Because uh, I just want—I noticed that there was a lot of people playing this game after the update. And so I wanted to make a nice tips and tricks video that everyone could use and everyone could... Um, gain value from i'm sorry about the ghouls but yeah they're kind of loud um well let's finish off uh thank you guys so much for watching watching please subscribe if you found this content interesting um leave me any comments down below if you need me to help you guys with anything any tips and tricks that you would like me to go over um i'm not letting this emergency spread because that'd be pretty foul if i did after telling you guys not to so yeah, like if you've seen that, if I didn't pay attention, those guys would have died. So that's that's just one of those tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, just let down. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, any suggestions, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.